Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to do a big die sequencing um, for the post Exosap product. So we're going to need a couple of um, reagents. The first one is going to be the big die itself, the big die terminator. I'm using V3.1 and then in the box it comes with the big die buffer, sequencing buffer, it's the 5x version. And then I have some sterile water and I have the primers that I used for the PCR. What I'm going to do after that is follow this ratio for each of the... are going to have 6 microliters of water in it, 2.25 microliters of big dye buffer, 0.25 microliters of big dye, and 0.5 microliters of either front, forward or reverse primers. So to cover as much as possible, what we're going to do is we're going to take the forward primer and make a master mix with the forward primer and we're going to take the reverse primer and make a master mix with the reverse primer. So we're basically following this protocol twice. One with the forward primer and one with the reverse primer. So now that I put the substances into each of these tubes, let's vortex them and then take them to the centrifuge. Now I got my master mixes back from the centrifuge. One important thing is creating two sets of each PCR tubes. Two of them labeled as forward, two of them labeled as reverse. What I'm gonna do is get nine microliters of master mix solution into each of these tubes. So forward master mix solution will go into the forward one and reverse will go into the reverse. Now I will add about 10 more tubes into each set to complete my experiment and then I'll see you once I label all of them. So here I am back about 10 more tubes per forward and reverse sequences they are all filled with master mixes and they're labeled. The next ones that I'm going to be showing are going to be the post exo AP products. One microliter of post exo AP product will go into the each tube. So in the end, each tube should have 10 microliters of solution. Nine is coming from the master mix and one is coming from the post exo AP product. Now, as you can see on the left, I have two sets two rows of tubes, one for the forward and one for the reverse. On the other side, I have post exo AP products that is only one set. That means from the exo AP products, I'll be taking one microliter into the forward tube and one microliter into the reverse tube. So I'm going to be using the post exo, -exo AP products twice. Again, one for the forward and one for the reverse tubes. Now, as you can see, I have finished transferring the first rows of ExoAP products into the forward tubes, and now I'm going into the reverse ones.